Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, just wanted to make a video here. Uh, get a get a lot of questions. Um, Scott and I uh, talk a lot about having a short bridge when you're climbing um, DRT and SRT. It's really good to have a short bridge um, because it keeps everything close. The longer your bridge is, um, it makes it more difficult for you to. You know everything's farther away, so kind of you don't get as as uh, efficient of a throw when you're climbing, and um, it just you know you, you need to have a short bridge when you're climbing using these rope climbing methods. So some of the saddles today, um, most of them now are coming out with adjustable bridges, and that's great. Um, you know this particular I've got here in front of me, um, I got a, an Arrow Hunter Evolution saddle that has a adjustable web bridge on it. And I can adjust this web bridge right on down as short as I need to. Um, but I've always been fond of having two bridges um, since the beginning. I, I just, I, number one, I like the redundancy of it because I'll have the one longer one for when I'm tethered into the tree. And um, I'll climb on the shorter one. Um, but what I find that I end up doing a lot is usually I, I like to tether into the tree. And I'll take the tail end of the tether, that excess, and... I can take that and wrap the, that around my short bridge and this way it, it'll accomplish two things. It will give me some redundancy on, on my main bridge and also it will tidy up that rope so that it's not hanging down and in the way of anything. So I like doing that but um, a lot of people ask me, well, you know, how can I, how can I install a short bridge? And there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, one of the ways I did it when I first did it was I used a, a 10 millimeter uh, beeline split tail and I tied it in and made a short bridge using that rope. Um, but I'm a real fan of using anything that's factory made, um, especially when it comes to bridges and prusiks and that sort of thing. I don't really like using knots if I can help it. I'd rather have like a sewn in eye. So <clears throat> what I did here um, I went on Westburg's site and I purchased a factory replacement bridge for, they have them for arborist saddles. And there's a couple of different brands, there's a couple of different styles, um, different lengths. Um, the one that I settled on, um, that I picked up here, I used, this one here is made by Weaver. Uh, it's a replacement bridge for one of the Weaver arborist saddles. And it's a web bridge. It's very kind of a almost like a thick sewn web bridge, and it can't really see, can't really tell. But there's two loops on either side. There's one loop here, and I just almost like wrapped it around and girth hitched a carabiner on one side. And then on this particular saddle, um, it has a rigging plate on it. And whether you use a rigging plate or a D loop on your your saddle, you can wrap the the webbing around it and pull it through itself and then tie in that second bridge. So for this particular saddle, I've got one side that's tied in all the time and the other side I can remove if I needed to with the carabiner and I just clip it in. And there it is. So now I have a short bridge on here and I pretty much always leave this one on here. Um, this particular saddle, uh, I know I'm probably going to get the question, this is a, an Arrow Hunter Evolution saddle. They've been discontinued. Um, it's one of the first saddles that they came out for hunting with. And um, I've always been kind of partial to this style of saddle. So started going to it and using it, messing around with it. Um, but I always like having that second bridge on there. So pretty much no matter what saddle I'll be on, I'll probably end up moving this particular bridge to it. I think uh, probably hunting out of a, a Kestrel Flex this year, but I might go ahead and add this second bridge to it because I just like the idea of the redundancy. It's easy. They're strong. Um, I like that nice short bridge I can tie in with my climbing gear, make it nice and neat and easy. Everything's nice and close to me. So this is a, probably a better way to do it than if you were trying to utilize something that you tie in. Um, I made a video of how I tied one in on my, my old Mantis saddle. Um, and you know, and that worked fine, but um, I would recommend something like this better. This is designed for, um, you know, this is being used exactly what it's designed for. So it's a good way to do it. All right, so if anybody had any questions, how do you put in a short bridge? Check out Wesper's uh, replacement 
uh, bridges for the saddles and you can probably incorporate one of those into most of the saddles that are out there today. Uh, keep in mind if you do um, go through Westboro to get anything they've offered our YouTube channel viewers a 10% discount by using a promo code that we have and the New York uh, the promo code for buying anything that's you know individual items like this is NYSH New York Saddle Hunter so if you just use that promo code um, when you go to purchase a bridge or carabiners or any of the climbing gear ropes any of that stuff that you need um, you'll get a 10% discount all right all right guys so if you have any other questions just put them in the comments section and uh, we'll be glad to answer them you know as you know whenever we can all right okay guys climb safe